What's poppin' Funko fans? I'm Robbie Deltz, and this is the long-awaited return of Funko Pop Weekly. First off, I just want to apologize for the long hiatus that I did take. I was dealing with my health, obviously being diabetic, that is my number one concern to be healthy. And I was also working a lot, therefore I didn't have time to post a video since August 29th. And so today's video is going to be a top 5 Funko Pop announcements from September, October, and November 2019. Starting off with number 5 from September, it's Bill Nye the Science Guy. Honestly, this is a great looking pop. He is definitely an icon. Everyone grew up watching him, whether it be in science class or geography class, walking into a classroom with a TV and VCR, or even watching it on YouTube nowadays. Honestly, I was super stoked about Bill Nye the Science Guy. He had to have been placed number five for September for me, because the pops that come ahead of it uh, definitely deserve their rightful place. For number four... I have decided to choose the New York Comic Con exclusive Pink Chrome Batman. I am a fan of Chrome Pops. I only have one Chrome Pop in my collection and that is the Red Chrome Vegeta from the San Diego Comic Con exclusive lineup. Pink Chrome Batman unfortunately is not in my collection. Neither is the Teal Chrome Batman which I would have liked to get from San Diego Comic Con. but that is okay. This pop is obviously a generic Batman mold with obviously the pink chrome. There's just something about chrome pops that I like and pink chrome Batman had to be number four in my list. My number three selection for September is from the movie Toy Story 4 and it's the New York Comic Con exclusive Benson. This was a highly anticipated pop for Toy Story fans alike. I am very excited that Funko announced this back in September. And honestly, if you're a friend of mine who happens to be listening to this, I know that Benson is definitely a must if you are a completionist of the Toy Story collection. So, honestly, Benson is number three, and my number two and one might surprise you. So, let's get right into that. My number two pick for the month of September is from... New York Comic Con 2019 as well. From the series Stranger Things, it's Susie. Now Dusty Bun needs his Susie Poo, and we finally got that back in September. Honestly, I'm pretty sure every Stranger Things fan was excited when they announced Susie. And I was too, not gonna lie. Susie would have been my number one pick for September if my number one pick was not announced. Now, for those of you who know the show The Office, you might already know what my number one pick is. So, I'll jump right into that. And number one from September is the New York Comic Con exclusive Dwight with Bobblehead. I am a huge Office fan. I'm almost done watching The Office on Netflix. I still have quite a bit of episodes to go in the final season, but I'm almost there. I've been watching it on and off again for a while, and honestly... There definitely was a theme for the month of September, and that was New York Comic Con exclusives. And with the exception of the Bill Nye the Science Guy, these have been my top five Funko Pop announcements from the month of September. 
Dwight with Bobblehead is a very creative pop, and I love it. I'm glad that Funko made it into a pop vinyl figure. It's amazing. Enough said. Number five from the month of October goes to Mortal Kombat. Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Raiden, Liu Kang. Those were the top four characters that were most played on the game. I am a huge fan of the Mortal Kombat game. And honestly, I was pretty excited to see that this was announced from Funko. And honestly, it had to be in my top five for October. And honestly, there were a lot of pops that were pretty great for the month of October, but this, you know, just made my list. My number four pick for the month of October is the two-pack Funko Shop exclusive item for October 23rd of Barney and Fred from the Flintstones, and they're wearing their hats from the Loyal Order of Water Buffaloes Lodge that they are in. And honestly, this is a very creative two-pack that Funko came out with, and I am very happy because growing up, I watched the Flintstones. I was a huge fan of the cartoon. And I'm just glad that they made it into a two-pack. Number three for the month of October is Pinocchio with Jiminy Cricket. I am a huge Disney fan. I grew up watching Pinocchio, and honestly, Funko had to make this a very exciting announcement for the month of October. Like all the other pops that I've mentioned, I think Pinocchio definitely deserves a spot, especially in top five October Funko pops. Number two for the month of October comes from the pop Disney line from the Lion King movie. It's Spirit Mufasa. And honestly, this is a pretty great looking pop. Very creative. Purple, has some sparkles on it to reflect a spirit. Honestly, there's nothing more I could say about it. It is a great looking pop. And rounding out the month of October, at number one, it's Waldo from the Where's Waldo books. And honestly, this is my number one choice for the month of October because honestly, Funko did a fantastic job. They were very creative. It looks exactly alike to Waldo. And everyone loves the Where's Waldo books. I'm a big fan. This has to be number one for everyone's list in October. I mean, honestly, I'd like to hear your top five for September and October, and I will hop into my November top five right now. My number five selection for the month of November is the Pop and Tea Combo, and it is the November 15th Funko Shop exclusive item for the day, the Gold Colonel Sanders. Now everyone has liked KFC at some point in their life. Their chicken was good. And Colonel Sanders is a definite icon. And he just made it into my list for November. Honestly, I have another pop and tea combo coming later on in my countdown. But let's first jump into number four. Number four for the month of November is... Spongebob Squarepants with Plankton, and it is the fun Spongebob from the episode where Plankton and Spongebob sing the fun song, F is for friends who do stuff together, U is for you and me, N is for anywhere and anytime at all, down here in the deep blue sea. Great episode, and honestly, that song is a catchy tune. I think that Funko hit it out of the park with this one, as they have done with all their Spongebob Pops so far. And this variant of Spongebob, uh, very creative. Honestly, 
what's not to like about this pop? Plankton sitting there on the letter U. They're getting along so perfectly. Had to make it into my top five for the month of November. My number three selection for the month of November is from the Funko Hollywood launch, and it is Chester the Cheetah with a bag of Cheetos in his hand. And honestly, Cheetos are one of my favorite snacks. I like the jalapeno ones. I like the flaming Hot Cheetos. And honestly, Chester the Cheetah is an icon. No doubt about it. This is a very creative and great pop. I love this variant of Chester the Cheetah so much. And he had to be in my top five for the month of November. There are two more pops to talk about. And let's jump right into it. Number two for the month of November is a pop and tea bundle of the green alien from Toy Story. Honestly, the aliens are one of my favorite characters in the Toy Story franchise. And the fact that Funko made a pop and tea bundle of the green alien, I think is fantastic, to be honest with you. Very creative on Funko's end. Very great pop. And even the t-shirt looks pretty cool. And with my number one pick for the month of November, it is the highly anticipated Amazon exclusive, The Fiend Bray Wyatt. Honestly, I had no words when this first got announced. I was marking out huge. I am very excited and ecstatic that Funko announced this. I'm glad they created this into a pop vinyl figure form. And the very first chance I got, I pre-ordered it. So when it comes out in March, I believe, I will finally have The Fiend in my collection. Honestly, the most excited I was ever for a pop in the month of November. And The Fiend tops the cake. Hands down. Well, there you have it, guys. That has been the top five Funko Pop announcements from September, October, and November. This has been the final episode of Funko Pop Weekly, as I will be renaming it to Funko Pop Monthly, as I will be doing monthly videos now instead of weekly videos, announcing my top five Funko Pops for each month moving forward. If you like this video, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell to be notified of when I post future content. And also leave me a comment letting me know your top 5 Funko Pops for each month. Until next time guys, this is Robbie Dilts. Keep on popping.